What is up YouTube, Roger here. I am bringing you a video that I think will be of quite some use to you guys. Um, dailies, weeklies and monthlies on RuneScape. Pretty much how to get GP, XP and other useful items on a regular basis. That, uh, you know, that you can use to do all kinds of various things in the game. Uh, there will be uh, descriptions of each method and the rewards and requirements in the description of this video. New ones re released after this video um, will have asterisks next to them in the description with their requirements and rewards obviously to show that they're new and try to keep the videos up to date as possible. Um, other than that, enjoy and I will try to explain as much detail about the methods as possible. Now on to the stuff that we can do daily. The first and most obvious thing is actually the Squeal of Fortune. You can do this once a day if you're a free to play member or you can do it twice a day if you're a paying member. You can also earn additional spin tickets per day if you take part in distractions and diversions, skilling activities and PVM. The first I'm going to mention is Potion Flasks at Oot Glock. Um, the requirements are 89 crafting, 81 mining, as a first resort quest completed, and the rewards are pretty much 50 to 75 potion flasks uh, and or 200 GP, 200k GP approximately. The criminal bolts can be found in various areas of the game. It requires 85 woodcutting, 93 fletching to make the bolts. The rewards are random as the amount of logs that you get from the trees vary, and it resets once every 6 hours. The wild jade vine can be found in Ardy near the mansion. It requires 59 slayer to do. Back to my roots quest completed. The rewards are 2500 slayer XP and it resets as soon as you plant the seed again. Bolt can be found in the chaos tunnels after the hunt for Surok mini quest. You require a decent combat level as is quite high combat. The rewards are various amounts of charms and it resets each jagex day at midnight. The Phoenix Lair can be found in Piscatoris after it, the In Pioneer quest. It resets each Jagex day and yields 7,500 fire making, 3,000 fletching and 1,000 crafting XP and also the chance at a new Phoenix pet. Battle staffs can be collected from NAF after the Varok achievement diary has been completed. After the Elite diary you will get more access to the battle staffs in his store. It, uh, the rewards are pretty much 100k GP or some crafting XP from the battle staffs that you can buy and craft. Bert will give you 85 buckets of sand each day after you complete the hand in the sand quest. You must talk to him to get this reward and it resets each Jagex day. After the completion of the Ardy set tasks you can go to Wizard Compity in uh, Ardy. He will give you 150 noted pure essence each Jagex day if you talk to him. After completion of the Sears Village tasks, you can go to Jeffrey in the Flax Field in Sears Village and talk to him and he will give you 200 free flax every Jagex day. After completion of the Sears Village tasks, uh, 200 coal that is stored in the coal trucks in Sears Village will go directly to your bank each Jagex day. After completion of the Karamja tasks, you can go to Delmont each day, who can be found wandering near the house portal. When you talk to him, he will give you 40 pineapples and 40 fruit noted. This resets once each Jagex day. After completion of the Lumbridge City tasks, you can talk to the chef in Lumbridge Castle each day to collect the food hamper. This resets once each Jagex day. After completion of the Karamja tasks, you can go to the banker in Tazar every day, and he will give you 8,000 free tockle. This resets once each Jagex day. After completion of the Mauritania set tasks, you can go to Morton and speak to Razmire. He will give you a choice of three different types of planks listed on screen. This resets once every Jagex day. After completion of the Mauritania set tasks, you can go to Robin in Port Phasmatis every day with 49 unnoted bones and he will give you the equivalent in bone mail and bones of slime so you can go and get prayer xp. This resets once every jagex day. Shooting stars fall all over Gillanor. You can see where the stars are going to land by using the telescope in your player owned house or somebody else's player owned house. It requires various mining levels depending on the size of the star. You will get a chance to mine extra ore from rocks and various ores which add up to approximately 50k GP. This resets once every Jagex day. Evil trees appear on Gilanor once every hour or two. You can discover where they are by chatting to a spirit tree and asking where, where the nearest evil tree is. 
and it will offer to teleport you right there if there's an evil tree on the ground. The requirements are various woodcutting levels depending on the size and type of the evil tree. The rewards are extra wood that goes into your invent will be automatically banked instead of not allowing you to chop any more and various logs and nests this resets once every jagex day though you can chop more than one evil tree a day each day you can use your assist system to gain up to 30k experience in any given skill on the interface this is commonly used for effigies as people struggle to get assists for effigies and it resets once every player day which means that it resets 24 hours after you max it and not every jagex day Using the Wicked Hood you can get 100 free essence a day which is most, which is best used on a runecrafting altar after you've filled up your pouches as you can see I'm using it on blood runes here. Uh, there are no requirements to get the essence though there are obviously runecrafting levels to craft the runes with the essence. The rewards are 100 pure essence, 2 teleports to any given altar that you've added the talisman to it each day and various amounts of runes. This resets once every Jagex day. Jack of Trades is an aura that can be bought from the loyalty store with 15,000 loyalty points. This requires various skill levels to use as you need to use 10 skills within 24 hours to get an XP bonus in any given skill. You'll be given an XP lamp. Um, the rewards are up to 14k XP which is in a skill that's level 120 obviously it's engineering. Other than that uh, it depends on your skill level. It receives it resets once every player day, which it means 24 hours after you use it. And I would also like to give a thanks to Jord for allowing me to use this clip as I don't have the aura myself. Now on to the stuff that we can do weekly. First up in the weeklies is Char's Training Cave. This requires the Firemaker's Curse and level 91 Firemaking. It can yield up to 150k Firemaking XP. And it resets once every Jagex week, which is on a Wednesday. Next up is Balpazar's Big Top Bonanza, or in other words, the Circus. This requires various skill levels to do. The rewards are approximately 70k XP across various skills, 28 cosmetic items, and it resets once every Jagex week, which is on a Wednesday. Next up is Citadel Upkeep. This can be done uh, if you have a clan and a clan Citadel um, accessed through the portal in the clan camp. There are no requirements to do this other than being in a clan. Um, the rewards are Clan Fealty which gives you bonus XP inside the Citadel, a clan XP ring and various XP in different skills whilst training in the Citadel. This resets once every Jagex week. Next up is familiarization. This can be done by finding pickup sticks at any obelisk, small obelisk around Gilanor. The only requirement to do this is to complete the wolf whistle quest. To start the summoning skill, the rewards are you get a choice, triple charms for a limited amount of time depending on how many shards you get inside the familiarization area, or various summoning secondaries. This resets once every Jagex week on a Wednesday. Penguin Hide and Seek is a commonly used D&D. This can be done by completing a Cold War quest and by finding random penguins that are scattered about RuneScape. You can gain up to 50k XP from this after completing the Red Re Hunt for Red Rooktuber quest and this resets once every Jagex week on a Wednesday. Shattered Heart can be started by simply training any skill in RuneScape that gives Shattered Heart rocks. There are no requirements to do this. The, requi the rewards are up to 150k XP in given skills and after 30 weeks a cosmetic statue in your player owned house. This resets every Jagex week on a Wednesday and click the link on screen to check out my video guide on how to do this. Next up is a Skeletal Horror. This can be used after completion of the Rag and Bone Man quest, Fur and Seek quest, plus bush, both of the wish lists for those quests. Quite a you know heavy task, but you know it's it's worth it. The rewards from killing the Skeletal Horror once a week are 1,250 Slayer XP and a potential chance at an elite clue scroll drop. Ring of Wealth helps this. Note that this resets once every Jagex week on a Wednesday. Tears of Guthix is a minigame that can be found in the Lumbridge Catacombs. Pretty much what it is is you get a ball and you can collect as many Guthix tears as possible with a, uh, collect the blue ones, avoid the green, one, green ones. Um, something that helps your time in there is your quest completion. The more quests you've got completed, the longer 
amount of time you'll be able to spend in the in the arena um the rewards are up to 11k xp in your lowest skill so bear in mind if you're a pure don't use this because it will put it on your combat skills and this resets once every jagex week the thieving guild can be found in lumbridge this can be accessed after completing the buyers and sellers quest which will give you access to the thieving guild and hanky points the only requirements are potential thieving levels to help you and the buyers and sellers quest completion. The rewards are up to 10k thieving XP per week and this resets once every Jagex week. And finally the stuff that we can do monthly. Troll Invasion is an event that can be completed once every month which means that on the first of every month it will reset and it requires either decent combat or decent skills. You can do either to get the experience it doesn't matter um, there are two different scenarios the rewards are up to 120k xp in any given skill 120k being for a skill that's level 120 you can get up to 90 or 100k in a skill that's level 99 via the xp book that you'll be given miscellaneous can be used after completing the throne of miscellaneous quest this gives uh options to get like uh, various skill items in a coffer style method you put money in the coffer coffers you come back 24 hours later you've got some skill items that your people have been working towards for you um, this resets every day however you can loot it whenever you want uh, however the longer you leave it the more rewarding it is going to be if this video helped you and you like videos of this type please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button also i'd like to give a huge thanks to jord for his jack of all trades clip and kakamil for the idea for this video based off his thread on supreme skillers forums thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and cheers guys